Hello and welcome to our look at the upcoming July 13th trading week in front of you. I have the economic calendar as per, and uh, as you can see, uh, really not a lot going on the 13th. We have a little bit of uh, news coming out of China with trade balance and stuff. Really, most of the economic movement over the week is going to be based around what's going on in Greece. At the time of recording, this is late Friday, it appears that the Greeks are going to capitulate eventually, and if they do, that'll be good for risk on perspective. Having said that, we look a little later into the week. Uh, we have on Tuesday CPI numbers out of Germany. That could move the DAX and the Euro. Again, though, they probably have made much bigger moves one way or the other due to Greece. We have CPI coming out of Great Britain on Tuesday. That could be good for the pound and the FTSE, depending on which way we come uh, above or below. Going a little farther than that, we have retail sales out of the United States. That will greatly impact the stock market in the United States on Tuesday. On Wednesday, we have GDP out of China. Uh, that really could move the markets from a risk on, risk off perspective industrial production etc so uh, could get a little bit of noise in Asia uh, a little bit later in the day on the Wednesday session we have cl uh, climate count change thank God employment for those of you outside of the UK uh, and you can see all of that so that of course will move the FTSE and the pound and as we go through the Thursday session really um, or the Wednesday session really not a whole lot uh, PPI of the United States might move the stock market. Now on Wednesday we have a rate statement coming out of Canada that of course is big for the Canadian dollar. Beige book comes out on Wednesday. That can move the stock markets in the U.S. Doesn't do a whole lot with the dollar, not as much as you would think. It just shows a general uh, survey of Federal Reserve governors around the uh, United States what they're seeing as far as economic indicators and their uh, perspective regions going into Thursday we have the European CPI that could be big for the DAX and the CAC um, a interest rate decision of course typically is a big mover but really that isn't going to be the case is the policy statement and press conference that will be paid attention to the most because uh, at this point in time we have to assume that nothing's been worked out in Greece and if that's the case there could be some statements coming out of that Continuing jobless claims, initial jobless claims out of the United States. That is a stock market moving event. And as we uh, continue to go into the session on uh, Thursday, CPI that, uh, or on Friday, CPI, excuse me, that of course is a stock market moving event in the United States as well. And we just kind of drift into the weekend from there. With that, let's take a look at some charts. The S&P 500 fell a bit, but ended up forming a hammer for the week. That's a positive sign. Therefore, we believe that the S&P 500 continues to go higher over the course of the next week. We are buyers of calls on short-term pullbacks. And finally, gold fell a little bit during the week, but bounced to form a hammer. We believe that gold is ready to go a little higher, maybe test $1,200. We're buying calls on supportive candles, uh, but do not expect any major moves. This is probably more or less going to be a short-term trader's market over the course of the week. Uh, with that, we've taken a look at the upcoming July 13th trading week.